Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to extract the year and the month of a year MAN object in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the example data that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So in lines 2 and 3 of the code I'm installing the SU package. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 3 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the SU package, such as sYearMan, as you can see in line 5 of the code. And if you run line 5 of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called MyDate. And we can print this date to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. And then you can see that our date is the April of 2022. We can also check the class of our date by running line 8 of the code. And if you run this line of code, you can see that the class of our date is the year month class. So if we want to extract the year from our year month object, then we can apply the format function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within the format function, I'm specifying the name of our date object. So in this case, our data object is called my date. And then I'm specifying in quotes the percentage sign and a uppercase Y. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the value 2022 is returned. And this is the year of our example data object. So as you can see with line 10 of the code, we have extracted only the year from our data object that we have created before. We can do a similar thing by running line 12 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying percentage %b within the format function. And if you run this line of code, you can see that only the month of our data object is returned. So in this case, the month of our data object is April, or in this case, only the letters APR. We can also use the lowercase letter m, as you can see in line 14 of the code, to extract our month as a value. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that the value 04 is returned. So in this case, we have returned a number instead of the name of our month. As you can see, based on the quotes that are surrounding our value, our current output is formatted as a character string. However, we can convert this character string to the numeric class by running line 16 of the code. So as you can see, now only the value 4 is returned without the zero in front and without quotes. So in this case, our output is a numeric value. So in the first part of this video, I have explained how to use the format function to extract years and months from a date object in the R programming language. However, it is also possible to use the Lapridate package to extract years and months from a year month object. And this is what I want to show you in the remaining part of this tutorial. So in order to use the functions of the Lapridate package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 18 and 19 of the code. I have installed this package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 19 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the year function, as you can see in line 21. So if you apply the year function to our data object, then you can see that the value 2022 is returned. And you can also see that this value is already converted to the numeric class. We can do the same with the month function. So if we apply the month function to our date object, as you can see in line 23, the month is returned and this value that is returned is also a numeric value. So as you have seen, it depends a little bit if you want to return a character string or a numeric value to the RStudio console. However, in this video, I have shown you two different examples on how to extract years and months from a year month object in the R programming language. And if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.